Hi everyone, this is the video I promised about how I print my one inch labels. When I first joined Posh, I bought all kinds of pre-cut circle one inch stickers and I had the worst time possible trying to get those things lined up and I wasted so many sheets of paper and somebody else posted a video just like this one and I've been doing it that way ever since. It takes a little bit more time because you're cutting out your circles and stuff like that but for me it's worth not having to deal with um, messing with alignment anyway so I bought a whole package here of eight and a half by eleven shipping labels it's just one full sheet of sticker paper that's the product number I bought this box it has a hundred labels in it I think I've maybe used 25 <laughs> for a long time I, I mean it's taken forever Anyways, so this is the label number for one inch circle, a whole sheet of one inch circles. So this is the um, Avery app. You can also do this on the computer. Um, it's pretty much the same setup. So I put in my label number and I hit next. I chose blank text and next. Oops, I hit back. All right then, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Try that again. Okay. Well, uh, sixty four fifty. Go. Sorry, I'm wasting all kinds of your time today. All right, so I pick the blank text, and it just gives you a blank empty circle, normally. There it is. Okay, so my first thing is I'll pick this little um, text box here, or excuse me, picture box, and pick from my device. And then I'll find one of my one inch labels. Um, now I just put this on here, and I have it under edit all, so if I were to back up and show you what the whole sheet looks like, they would all look exactly like this. Um, you can also go in and hit edit one and it will edit each individual sticker. So you can do multiple stickers on one sheet. So that would be how you put one in. Now say I wanted to go put that on say 15 circles. I hit copy, move to the next one and hit paste, paste. And then say I want to pick another one, right? So I'll go for my device and I'll pick another sticker. Oops, how about that one? And I'll make sure it's in the circle the right way. And then I'll go through and copy and paste again. All right, when you're all done, I'll do all of them like that. Hit preview and print. Obviously, this is not how you would want it to look, but say I was done and I did the whole sheet, you just go through and hit print. You can save it or not save it. I'm not going to because that's not the way I want it to look. Open in PDF. It'll open it in your Internet Explorer, whichever one you use. And that's what it looks like. So then I just hit print right there and it'll send it to my printer. Um, when it's done, you will have a whole sheet of sticker paper like this. And then, like I said, I use my one inch hole punch and I just go through and punch them out. So I hope that helped you figure out how to make your labels. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm Tina Meeker. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.